Sunday's rain now making its way into creeks and rivers that eventually reach Lake Michigan. It's likely going to mean more trouble for a lot of the communities already struggling with the rising water levels. Tonight, 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mill shows us the challenges people are facing in one downtown area. The water level is so high on Lake Michigan that officials here in the city of Ludington will be watching weather reports very closely all summer long and into the fall. If there's any chance of big waves, access to the city's break wall will be shut down. The city's Lake Michigan beaches are pretty narrow these days. Shrinking uh, drastically, yes. But the big concern is out here. Someone's going to get swept off pretty easily. Ludington yes, city want. manager Mitchell Foster says if waves do this, the city has to Act. We have to close down the break wall every so often. Today is one of those days. And it will no doubt happen again this summer because Lake Michigan is just a few inches below the break wall. The city's municipal marina on Pier Marquette Lake is also high. Waves and wind caused one dock to drift around 30 feet last week. Not just because of that storm, but also because of the current height of the water. And some storm drains near the lake are backed up, flooding sidewalks on the east end of Pier Marquette Lake. The Ludington Yacht Club has already raised its parking lot two feet. For now, that's just barely enough to keep the parking lot dry. We just put these boardwalks in. The club built boardwalks on top of the ones that are now underwater. Probably a foot and a half higher than it was last this time last year. And a few members have been turned away. We've cut the power off on all of the, around the steel wall. Water levels on this lake follow Lake Michigan. You see it there? It's just June, and already the club's seawall is underwater. Almost a foot down here. Historically, water levels for the season peak in July or August, Gary Ferguson says for club members and volunteers, it will likely be of summer with more work to keep the club open and less time on the water sailing. Just would hope it would go down a little bit. And the effort to keep the Yacht Club open for the summer is really adding up. So far, the club has spent more than $50,000. In Ludington, John Mills, 13 on your side.